field. That's why they. I'm not just saying that because they did hang arms there. Yeah, there we go. So. Okay. So what Falcon wants to do in this matchup is he needs to get a grab on Fox at low percents and um, and really, really just go from there. Nair, um, it's super tough for your boy Captain Falcon in this matchup. Um, yeah, oh. That was a fantastic wave. Um, you know, I was surprised Brad didn't actually get up attack there. but Or did he get up attack and just outspaced it? Uh, no, I think he just, just normal, get normal yeah. get up into a... Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, oh, see, yeah. See, he's, he's reading the spot dodge. Look, Captain Prawn knows. See, but he, but he was Brad's doing that. Be, he did that right away. Yeah. Brad hasn't been spot dodging. He just assuming that. He was just assuming that Brad's. Oh, oh, oh. That okay. Was, that was a silly. Yeah. That was a silly edge guard. Jeez. Um, he's just really putting on the pressure. Brad needs he's to just grab. Really, he's just really in his face. I think I think Brad needs to throw him out of play. Yeah, I think Brad's uh, flooding some tech. Just, oh, geez. yeah, he missed the tech. Yeah, that's there. that's one thing that I was gonna uh, to say out. from from my set uh, against out. Captain Prawn is that he he was really good against uh, capitalizing on. He would knee like a missed tech like every single yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I think when you when you when you get really good, the biggest thing, one of the biggest ways that you punish people is if someone accidentally misses attack, they gotta die. You know, that's gotta yeah. be. There are certain things I need. I think that you know, really, really top players just go like, okay, this has to be a thing. And if someone miss attack, they need to die almost all the time. Yeah, there's no reason. That was a super solid edge guard. Uh, it doesn't need to be any more complicated than hold the ledge in back air uh -huh. um, with Fox. So Red's gonna need to hold it down. He really should laser more, but I, he's probably not going to. He's missing his text. Actually, um, in a lot of matchups, it's not necessarily the best thing for Falcon to be above people. Uh, just ge just generally because it's hard for him to come down. Uh, like, specifically in Marth, Falcon, uh, basically, ooh, the drop zone. Kay, he does that. Yeah. He's been doing that. Okay. The, so the grabbing the side let's B. See, let's, see, let's see where they go. Um, I think Brad might pick Pokemon or Fountain. So we'll see what happens. You don't think he likes Brad's, Brad's not a big You don't think fan. he likes FD in this matchup? I mean, he's super I actually good on don't. FD. I actually don't know if he's that's even good in this matchup. Um, Fa I think Falcon is just good in where he has space. Uh -huh. um, I think Fa uh, Falco Falcon. It FD actually kind of depends worst, on the right? player. I'm sorry. A Falco Falcon FD would oh, be the worst, because right? Because lasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but but if, against with Fox, Fox, with Fox, because your lasers don't have hit boxes. Well, I guess they don't. They don't have hit signs, but I should say yeah. not hit boxes. Um, you know, it's not nearly as big of a deal. That was... He missed the heart knee there. Brad really should start keep recovering high this side. I feel like Falcon's down throw is one of those things that seems super... Oh, my God. Oh, that okay. Was, just, that was... Fox just looked at him. Solid by Brad and, knowing that it yeah, wouldn't hit. Yeah. I, I would have I definitely... I would have uh, ran right in there. Uh, I would have spot dodged the, the down smash, like, just thinking, like, yeah, yeah, it's going to hit me from that distance, but... Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. He needs to. He needs to go high. He's gonna start. He's, he shouldn't start to get frustrated. Both these guys are playing super well. I think. I think Falcon is one of the better get up attacks in the game. Uh, yeah, it covers a lot of ground. Yeah. Yeah. The leg it swings it around like that. Um, fun fact: you can taunt. You can taunt cancel uh, on the windmill. You just. Stand oh. on the side of the windmill that's falling down and press taunt right before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's super fun to do. Completely unrelated to the oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's He just, he Charlie. I, he, and I know it seems like he's just swagging out, but he's really just avoiding uh, contact. One of the things about Fox is Fox wins basically on every one of Pokemon Stadium's transformations. Uh, for a long time, the belief that because up smash with Fox is so strong and it's like his main killing power and, you know, up there, up air, obviously. That felt like Pokemon Stadium is only good because Fox can kill someone at like lower percents than normal. But I think that it's just an excellent stage for Fox in general, because like, he can jank on all the transformations except for. Uh, yeah, really, plus, really, yeah, you've got, I mean, you've got I mean, infinite stuff. When I mean stuff. jank, I'm talking about the shine infinite. Yeah, all yeah, that. yeah. Um, some people kind of. Okay. Yeah, Brad, Brad won't mess that up. Um, He's he's gonna take that. Um, I think Brad's got some momentum now. Yeah, yeah, he's feeling better about it. Yeah, he should have recovered. Um, there, actually, that was a super bad position for Fox to be in. 
now that I'm thinking about it, but one of the platform. Yeah. That's another thing that um, you can tell when someone's super good or not is how they use their platforms. Uh -huh. I definitely for a long time didn't use any platforms at all. Um, and when you watch someone like evade something by wave landing above, they got it. Ooh. Oh, okay. That was because of a mistech. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. Down our knee. He, he went through the hard route. Is he living? Oh. Oh, see, it, Brad could have just shined there, okay. I think. He needs to He needs to go in the pit. Up smash him. Up smash on shield, Brad. He's trying to up smash on shield. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. okay. Get over there. That, I was surprised that, that, was that didn't hit. So <laughs> that was so tricky. See how tricky that was? Yeah. <coughs> that. <laughs> okay, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I didn't know either. This is new. That was. Okay, Captain Prawn's movement is super, super impressive. Uh huh. Alright. Okay. So, what Brad needs to do right now is literally not get grabbed. Okay. That's what that's what Captain Prawn's gonna try to do. He's gonna be narrowing up airing and trying to grab him. Um, he's gonna try to use an air to set that up right there. Yeah, oh that's exactly man! Right. Oh, that was super solid. Yeah. All right, so that's we should game two, right? His napkin is Brad. We call him Brad. That's his, you know, IRL tag. Uh, that's what his mom named him. Yeah, this is an excellent replay. <laughs> See, yeah, that's crazy. That that's that's super cool. We, we got to get that on some. See, if, if Brad had shielded, shielded smash, if, I know you're watching. If Brad had shielded there, I know you're watching. Brad would have it would have hit Brad's shield, and he would have gotten knocked out to the ledge. Yeah. you know. Yeah. And that probably would have been a worse position. Okay, so okay. back to this Pokemon. is actually. Uh, I think this is the right decision. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was super close. Brad Brad's not a big fan of Dreamland. Uh, you know, it, it's all, all you know. People try to make um, stage striking like this really objective thing that you know, if you play this character, you should generally strike these stages, and that's, I think, I think if you think about it like that, that's true. But it also really matters where you feel comfortable, you know. And um, if you feel like, like Johnny, you know, SJ always picks Pokemon Stadium, and that's not because it's amazing for Falcon or anything. It's literally just because he likes it, you know. Yeah. And. You know, that's that's just as important as going, oh, this is good for my character. You know, obviously there are those things, but um, you, you need, you need, that was, oh yeah, that's okay. Why? That was cool. That, that was some old school Falcon stuff. Yeah, that's the, right there. That's the, like, the Silent Spectre stuff right there. Yeah. The, actually, though, um, I, I like seeing that old stuff come out. You know, okay, he just did something right there. I don't know if you caught it. Uh, he just did, you know, Falcon has, like, this little flip that he does when he jumps backwards. Uh -huh. And there's a wave land you can do off that. And that's also a Silent Spectre thing. That's why I was thinking about it. Um, uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. How do you re-grab from that? Yeah, Red, Red is getting re- I didn't mean to shush you. I was just saying. Uh, we're just, like, yelling. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to... I don't want someone to... Go rip headphone users on us <laughs> real quick. Um, I don't know. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. He he was reading them. That for down air, the like 70 he must have known that percent because that down air popped him up just enough to grab him before he hit hit the ground again. That was good. Okay, yeah. Right now, Captain Prawn definitely, definitely has all the momentum. Yeah, he he needs to just kind of hold it down and not get foxed. Um, what I mean by that is die at a low percent because okay. Fox is amazing. Uh, Oh. Okay, good read. Red, Red, Red's kind of been doing a lot of the same attacks, um, and Captain Prime is awesome that. Yeah, Brad missed a couple of those waves. Yeah, to match right there, match. right there. You know, it seems like when you watch a lot of high-level foxes, they'll, you know, perfectly do that that wave dash or the wave shine. Oh, that was disgusting. Yeah, I thought Brad played well, especially yeah. in that in the last two games. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Captain Prawn kind of just Captain Prawn just knows definitely stuff. capitalizes uh, on stuff like mistakes. Yeah, right. So like much. watch. Oh, uh, that is okay. ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, that. So down and throw then he, he reads to down the tilt to regrab and then read the tech away. Uh huh. What what can you do about that? Right. Yeah. If so, I mean, do something different in terms of your tech and di differently, obviously. But uh -huh. I think the the proper decision right there because most Falcon players aren't going to go down down throw down tilt. Um. Yeah, this is sick too in the end. That, that was what you were talking about. 
That's crazy. Yeah. 